Hey there guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Unfortunately, the wizard quest to slay the monsters has indeed expired. Which is really annoying because I was one blob or slime or whatever they're called away from finishing that. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go and do this more full on, go all the way to level 5 thing. Or should I go to the wizard now? I'm actually going to go to the wizard. I'm going to go to the wizard. Maybe I'll go to the mine later or something. It's raining, so that's convenient. And I'll get all these parsnips. How much... Oops, did I just... Did I just chop my own parsnip? Did I just destroy my own parsnip? Let me test this. <gasps> oh my god, I did. I destroyed my own parsnip. What a waste. I didn't even know I could do that. That's awful. Whoa. Um, right, let's put this back. Yeah. Right, that was a massive waste. Okay, so what does the star mean? It means, oh, it means it's a quality crop. Okay, I see. That makes sense. So that's 40, 16 health. I looked at it wrong last time. It's 16 health, not 40 health. It's 40 energy. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of all this. And I'm actually... I'm not going to go to the mines. Because that's only an extra 32 health. Missing. I lost my favourite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. There's 250 gold in it for whoever finds the thing. Okay. Let's have a look. Cutting wood south of Marnie's Ranch. Okay, so I believe that's down here. In this south area. Okay, gotta bust through all this. Okay, so Marnie's Ranch, I believe, is just here. And I think the Wizard's Tower is also around here, so maybe we can kill two birds with one stone. That looks like a ranch. No sign of an axe, though. What about in here? It's locked. Okay, so not that. That's a dead end. I don't know how she would <laughs> walk off without her axe. Like, it's surely like the one thing that she brought with her. You'd notice if you were walking off without an axe, you'd think. Okay, so that's dandelion. Makes a good salad. People eat dandelion? Okay, let's have another look at that quest. South of Marnie's Ranch. So that should be around here. Okay, so Marnie's Ranch, there. Like, how literal was that? If it's literally just south, then I should just follow this path. So, down here, perhaps? It must be somewhere down here, I think. Not in the sewers, I assume. No, it's locked. Okay. No sign of an axe down there. There's another leak here. It's always useful. Oh no, horseradish. Okay, I'm actually full up now. My inventory. It's kind of annoying. Ah, here we go. There's the axe. It's here by the cliff. So if you're wondering where to find that axe, it's right here by the cliff, just south uh, south of Marnie's Ranch. Follow the bridges along, and it's there, basically. So. Right, I'll get rid of these stones. Somehow, how do I get rid? Get rid of them. 
pick up the axe. I found the lost axe. Better return it to Robin. Okay, I'll go do that now. Can't pick up the dandelion because it's... I've got a quality crop and the dandelion is not a quality crop, that one. Can I go this way? Now that is the way I came, okay. Right, let's go look for Robin. Okay, so Robin's the carpenter, so I'm guessing she'll be up at the northeast of town. Let's go do that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff that I don't really need. I'm going to keep that as a gift. This is not the prettiest flower, but I'm going to give it to someone anyway. Mixed seeds, might as well plant those. Okay, that's done. Fiber I'll put in the in here. And the rest I think I will take with me. Okay, so Robin should be up here just to the northeast in her carpenter shop or whatever it's called. Need something built? No, I've got your axe. Are you Robin? This is Robin, right? I didn't just gift it to her, did I? this right? Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. You're welcome. I will take that gold and I will use it to finally buy that backpack upgrade that's so overdue. That's excellent news. And with that backpack upgrade, I might be able to go scavenging or something more thoroughly this time. I'm curious to see how it works with the toolbar, because obviously if it literally just expands the UI, then it'll kind of take up most of the screen, so I assume there'll be a some kind of page thing. Okay, I will purchase that. Alright. You got the large pack. Your inventory has increased to 24. Okay, so... Okay, so you just tuck them away, basically. Yeah, you just tuck it away, so you, you're carrying it, but you can't see it on the UI, that makes sense. Okay, and the next one is 10,000 gold, and I assume that's the final one, because obviously you can see here in the UI that it doesn't get any bigger than that. So that's cool. Okay, we're now slightly friends with Robin, so that's good. That's another thing that happens when you do that quest. I can't... Have I met these people? I don't know who that is. Gus? I don't remember meeting that. I don't remember meeting George. Oh, George is the George is the grumpy man in the wheelchair. I do remember that actually. Green bean, don't have a green bean. What else do I need to do? With my remaining money, I would like to buy some more kale seeds. And I'll also go and check out that um, that place with all the coral and stuff on uh, where we built the bridge in the previous episode, just to the east there. I'm curious to see how much that's worth. And these shells as well, mussel. Okay, I guess we just sell these things, oyster. There's quite a lot of good scrap around here. Hopefully that's worth something. 
that's nice too. And there's loads of this stuff. Coral. So hopefully that's worth something. Is that more coral? Yes it is, it's hidden coral. Oh, who's this? I've got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it. Well, there's someone who does not look trustworthy. What's he doing? He's just lying there in the rain on the beach. Okay, so one of these muscles is... Extremely good, apparently. It's got a gold star. So I'll go see what Willy has to say about that. And hopefully sell him this other stuff as well. And then possibly use that to get even more kale seeds. Which we can then plant and make a lot of money. It's closed? Oh no. Did I seriously... I missed it by literally a split second. No way. That's so irritating. Literally a split second. Okay, I have to go back there another time. Yep, yeah, let's get out of here. weather makes me thirsty. Not good weather for sports. Yes, obviously. I thought this guy... No, he doesn't play rugby, does he? If he did, that wouldn't be such a terrible idea. Read anything interesting in the library lately? Can't actually answer that question. Let's see if there's anything interesting happening in here. Good evening, Noro. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honour tonight. This is that person who ignored me, isn't it? No. I've been looking forward to this beverage all afternoon. Okay, so she's not ignoring me now. I don't know why she was before. You look like you could use a beverage, but he doesn't sell me one. That's weird. It never rains in Coleco Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. Okay. If you say so. I can't afford to buy any more seeds. I guess I could buy one parsnip seed if it's still open, but I doubt it will be. Oh, it is. Wow. Okay, but it's... It's open, but he's not actually selling anything. Can I sneak in? I snuck in. Is that allowed? Most people stay indoors, yep. Caroline, my garden is happy today. Whoa, what is this? Some kind of shrine? Didn't see this before. Altar of Yoba. Okay, I have no idea what that is. I'm guessing I'll find out at some later point in the storyline. Hmm. Alright, nothing to do here, so I guess I'll just go back to the farm, plant the seeds, and I'm curious to see how much this muscle will go for. Along with the coral. In the meantime, I guess... I could chop some more trees, look for wild seeds maybe. I could also smash up some rocks, look for... Uh, Minerals or geodes or something. That's another option. Alright, so I can't really see what I'm doing. Okay, that's planted. I literally can't see that. I can when I tilt my screen forward, but I can't see that I've planted that if I don't look very closely. Okay, so into here. I was meant to give that to someone, wasn't I? Never mind. Put the coral away. Oh. I'll sell the oysters. I'll sell that mussel. And 
I'm going to sell the dandelion as well, just so I can buy more seeds and improve the farm. I think that's a bigger priority right now. And with my remaining energy... I guess I'll chop some trees. Four wood from that, not bad. Got some butterflies coming out of that one. Ah, some acorns. I know those are good to sell as well. So that'll be a bit more money. Just gonna be grinding here basically. That is a big part of the game. I'm sure you've figured out by now. Pinecone. It's nice to actually have space for everything. It really does make a difference. Lots of sap there. It's getting a bit late now. Cone. What does that say I can do with it? Plant it to make a pine tree. Okay, I'm not going to bother doing that. I'm just going to sell it. Maple seed. Wait, isn't that what I make wild seeds with? Let's let's check. Field snack. No, that's how I make it. Field snack. Okay, so we'll get that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's better than a parsnip at least. It's also better than the leek. So yeah, that's not bad. Anything else I can craft? Wild seeds. I need horseradish, daffodil, dandelion, and leek. Okay, so wild seeds are actually better than I thought, just based on the ingredients you actually need to make them. Seems pretty good. This will have to be the last tree, I think. Oh, I'm really annoyed about missing Willy's stupid shot by literally seconds. It's really annoying, because I want to I wanna see about buying lobster cages and stuff. I know that's something you can do later on, and I kind of want to see how it all works. More acorns. Really pushing it on time now. I think I'm going to be slightly late for bed. Which I believe means I'll have less energy tomorrow. Time is now paused, so that's good. I'll get rid of the acorns, I'll get rid of the pine cone. Um, do I need the field snack? I don't know. Do I need it? Not really. I'd rather have the money, to be honest. So I can keep improving the farm. That's my priority. Right, I'll go to bed. See how much money I've made off all that. Should be quite a lot. Should be the most money we've ever made, in fact. Wow. Okay, so 393. The quality parsnip was worth 43 gold. I don't remember how much they're normally worth. So they're normally worth 35, so that's... That's like a 20% increase in value from that, so that's pretty good. Foraging, let's have a look at this. Okay, the coral is worth a lot. Like, considering I just got that for free. So yeah, building that bridge was definitely worth it. I think that's already paid for itself. Like, that's so much gold. And all I had to do was just go and pick it up. Normally, if you're planting seeds and stuff, you have to kind of offset the cost of actually buying the seeds and the amount you get for selling them. So I got really excited when I sold that kale for 110 gold. But when you think about it, Kale seeds cost 70 each, so I only actually made 40 gold off that. Whereas this coral, I just literally got... What is it, like 680 gold? And literally all I had to do with, for that is just make that bridge. And I assume that it'll respawn after a while or something. Horseradish and the dandelion worth 50 gold each, that's okay. Fishing. Okay, so that really good muscle was actually not worth that much. It was only worth 45 gold. The oysters are worth quite a lot. And normal mussels, just 30 gold, not much there. Pine cones, worth basically nothing, so I'll bear that in mind. Field snack, also worth basically nothing. Acorns, however, are pretty good. 
So, yeah, it's interesting how that's all different, because I assumed that all three of those things are, like, roughly equal in rarity. So that's interesting. Uh, on the upside, I've made 1,400 gold back, so that's crazy. We're already... We're already about halfway to the chicken coop, if that is what we buy next. But if it isn't, then we've already made back most of the money that we spent on the bag upgrade today. So that's a very successful day, I think. No levels up, by the look of it. Okay, so that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we really will go to the Wizard's Tower. I'm curious to finally get this out of the way and see what happens with it. It should be interesting. Hope you guys will join me then.